The industrial age gave us some amazing inventions such as the telegraph and the telephone and also the electric typewriter by Thaddeus Cahill who then turned his attention to music and he created what he called the telharmonium an electromechanical musical instrument with a large amount of equipment weighing many tons that filled an entire building with cables, dynamos, and other electromechanical components. He then made a cable system similar to the telegraph and was able to pipe music in to the city of New York so that people in New York in offices, retail stores and the like would be able to hear music electronically. Cahill's performing console was much like a modern electronic organ. Artist and futurist Luigi Rosolo invented a set of loudspeakers which he used to make music using noise. Ferruccio Bassoni had similar futuristic ideas. He felt that musical style was no longer necessary. Bassoni trained young composers according to his new aesthetic, including Edgar Varese, who eventually became frustrated because the music he wanted to make was not really possible using the traditional symphony orchestra, and even percussion instruments were inadequate for his purpose. The theremin, invented by Professor Leon Theremin from Russia, had become a very popular instrument and remained popular for many years. Olivier Messiaen had been a child prodigy and went to university to become a composer. He was able to use some of the new musical instruments, including the Onde Martineau, which operated much like the Telharmonium, but was much smaller, much less cumbersome. Varese tried collaborating with other artists to find a way to make his music the way he would like, and he even used theremins and the En Montenon as much as he could. But to no avail, he just did not have the control over the music as he envisioned it to be. After World War II, when the Americans brought home the spoils of war, including some very fine Ampeg tape recorders from German radio stations, Varese had finally found the musical instrument that he needed to create his music, and he got right to work on it and collaborated with Janus Zenekis, an architect and engineer who had gotten a commission from the Philips Corporation. Together they created the fantastic and futuristic Philips Pavilion for the 1958 World Expo in Brussels, Belgium. And Varese was able to spend the rest of his life using his tape recorders and filters and other electronic equipment to have absolute control over his music. <laughs> 